Not open yet. We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Damn, system much. <sighs> yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh looking for my little brother. The fuck? It's about your height. A little bit leaner. Definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? It's good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they... I mean, doctors, they patched me up and they... Toss me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I... I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. <sighs> Nathan, we killed a guard, okay? So they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. Jesus, Sam, I... Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have you come back. would have come back. I know, Nathan. I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. Hey, hey, you still with me? I need some air. You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. It's a lot to digest, you know? But how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Okay? Have a seat. I want to hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. So, what's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. Tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. Oh, these were crazy stories. Got shot, hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas. Oh, yeah. yeah that, uh, that actually happened. Come on, man. What did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. Best part. A few years back, I got roped into uh, breaking into this Turkish museum to steal this oil lamp, okay? Oil lamp? Uh, it was an artifact from Marco Polo's lost treasure fleet. Kublai Khan's treasure. Yeah. Yeah, and as it turns out, there was a whole hell of a lot more on those ships than just treasure. I mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and uh, we made it out alive. Barely. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, the engagement ring, the engagement ring. I'm married. I can't believe I, Elena from the stories. That's my wife. You gotta come meet her. Tonight, dinner. At my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. <coughs> Shit, I gotta tell her all about you. Nathan. I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? What are you talking about? What kind of trouble? The name Hector Alcazar ring about with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? It's a funny story, but uh, last year he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. Read the night. Samuel, come here. 
Listen. The guards. They're singing. Eh, well, they're probably drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> well, I mean, they have wives to go home to. What do we got? Huh? No offense. We have ambition. No. <laughs> and when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. <sighs> what will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can. But I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time. Which I am sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has... become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? The opportunity of a lifetime. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Segment the key. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel. Are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vámonos. Holy shit. Los demás están en posición. En camino. Si todo va de acuerdo al plan. Fantastic. How long have you had this plan? Since the moment I set foot in this place. Samuel, keep up. Going to have to move quickly. Holy shit. Damn. Pedazo de mierda. Come on, la puerta. Nunca saldrás de aquí. Silencio. Jesus. Damn. These men are sadistic. We're doing the world a favor, huh? Here. You'll need this. Thanks. You remember how to use it. Yeah, it'll come back to me. Abran todas las puertas. Hector, you do that, and you'll start a goddamn riot. <laughs> exactly. Háganlo. Stay close, Sammy. So now what? Estamos en posición. ¿Están listos? Sí. Busquen dónde cubrirse. 
Samuel, get behind something. What? Why? Oh, okay. Just do it. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Estamos bien. Las camionetas están en camino. Muy bien. Este grito. Grito este. Alright, boo, boo, boo. Take cover. Uh, tell me twice. Samuel, in a minute, we will either be free or dead. Are you ready? Oh, shit. shit. My cover ran out. No. Shit, I'm being real risky. God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh no, no, I'm good. 
something better than good, actually. <laughs> You're dehydrated. Go on, drink. Thank you. So, what's next for Samuel Drake? Huh? Mm. Jesus, what is next? Uh, I'm gonna take a bath. I'm gonna sleep on a real bed. Mm. Maybe find a nice warm body to sleep next to me. Uh, track my brother down. Seems like a pretty good start. Uh, it is. So, uh, how long do you think it will take for you to retrieve Avery's treasure? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, uh, I get back to the States, I can resume my search. How long? Uh, it's kind of hard to say until I get started. Oh, shit. You said you know where it is? Yeah, uh, I do. Okay, but listen, it's, it, it's not like Avery left some map with a big red X on it, okay? But I've, I've, I've got some very solid at least. Oh, okay. T just, just wait. A take, take, take. Hey, take it easy. Uh, I like you, Samuel. More importantly, I believed you. That is why you were here. I can, I can get it, okay? I, I just need some time. Tell me, Uncle Gio. You see, the problem is... I'm having all these doubts into my mind. Hector, listen to me. I will find it. I swear to you. How long? Six months. <laughs> People are lazy. Always ask for more time than they actually need. Three months. Three months is a bad. Three months. Half the treasure. Can you do it? Say it. Three months. Half the treasure. Now, if you run or try to hide the treasure, or do something really stupid like go to the authorities, I'll know. And when you least expect it, I will be there. At that point, death is not a mercy I will grant you. Here. Come on. Now, the nearest town. It's ten kilometers in that direction towards the sunrise. It's been a while since we've seen the sunrise outside, huh? Vamos. When I find it, then what? Don't worry. When the time comes, I'll be there to collect. When I swear to Samuel. So Alcazar lets me go and. Here we are. This is bad. We just pick up the trail where we left off and... Wait, trail? Sam, there's no trail. After Rafe and I escaped, he took his parents' fortune and bought up all the land around St. Dismas Cathedral. We combed that place for weeks. Avery's treasure isn't there. Not that that stopped Rafe. The moron's been digging for years, still hasn't turned up squat. Not really surprised. What does that mean? I well, just, you know, happened to do a little digging of my own. And, uh, I bet your Rafe doesn't have this. It's really amazing what you can find on the internet these days. It's just the St. Dismas Cross. Oh, is it? Because the one we found was broken and hollow, remember? Crap, it's still intact. Avery made more than one cross. So whatever's missing from the one in Panama is probably still inside this one. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, where is this? Oh, this exquisite piece is going up for auction in three days at the Rossi Estate. The Rossi Estate? Oh, you know it. Uh, yeah. 
And how do you plan on securing an invite to an exclusive, heavily guarded black market auction? Well, you don't necessarily need an invitation, per uh, se. Huh? Yeah. And where are you going to get the money to outfit all the high rollers? I could take a second mortgage out on my house, and it still wouldn't be enough to... Yeah, you're going to try and steal it, huh? No. We are. Oh, no. No, man, listen, I'm, I can't. I'm, I'm out. What? No, I, I, I just don't do that kind of thing anymore. Besides, there, there are plenty of other guys that are much more equipped to handle this kind of thing. Like who? Um, I don't know, like, uh, anybody, uh, Charlie Cutter. No. No, he's my no, go-to no, guy no, for this sort of thing. No, absolutely not. I don't trust Charlie or anybody else that you've got on that phone with my life, okay? I need you on this one. Sam, there's got to be another way. Not with the time I got left. Certainly not with Alcazar. Hey, hon, it's me. Yeah, uh, listen, you're not going to believe this. Jameson just walked in here with the permits. Yeah. I know, I know, but uh, it's like I'm going to take that Malaysia job after all. Damn it, Nate, don't lie to me. See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. It looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. You see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. <laughs> uh, let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? No, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right, simple. It would be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam. We could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? Sam. He knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Same Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. Look, I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And... No, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine. Fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. But, I mean, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. Try to keep your tucks clean. Thanks. What's a thief? Always a thief. I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here. You mean, with you in Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Eh, uh, well... You know, the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh. Uh, so this, this isn't your first time here? Oh, it's more like, uh, third? Had a couple of odd jobs. With Sullivan? Well, yeah. Okay. You're out there? Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah, there's no way up under that bridge. 
Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Oh, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? Or cycle. <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. Watch and learn. I, uh... I missed. <laughs> nah, see, it's, uh, it's all in the wrist. Here, let me see it. No, I got it. <laughs> see? Yeah, it's see? not bad. First, second attempt. <laughs> You see that? Oh, oh like a pro. It's your turn. Okay, so where to next? Up here. Hey, but we can swing off that beam up there. Uh, definitely. Hey, let's switch places. All right, climb over me. I've, I've got a good grip. Okay. There you go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> First try. All right, no one likes a show-off. Okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. Oh, I see. <laughs> Okay. So we're good. We're chilling. attraverso un tubo e forse non potrà più camminare. Ah, bene gli sta. Ehi, hey, è scommesso sulla partita. Inghilterra vincente. Inghilterra traditore. Ehi, hey, non confondere l'orgoglio nazionale con la realtà. Now we're good. Okay. We're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renner thug was packing some serious heat. Shut up our guns. Sam, we're going to pull this off so smoothly we won't need him. I hope you're right. <laughs> Famous last words. <sighs> All those years. It's the little things that you miss the most. Like what? The smell of fresh citrus. <laughs> uh, riding the motorcycle. It's little things, but they add up. That should hold. All right, come on down. Mission impossible crap. Actually, no. Tell me about it. So, uh, your other wonderful finds, uh, the ones I missed, you at least take any pictures? I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but the camera didn't make it. That's too bad. I have some drawings, though. When we get back, I'll show you. You have drawings? What, are they up on the fridge or something? No, I, they're good drawings. I can't wait. Ah, this looks promising. I think you mean precarious. <laughs> Shit! You okay Damn. up there? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Take your sweet ass time. Let's go.
It'd suck if you missed right now. It sure would. But I don't miss. The graphics are so good. This game was way ahead of its time. For graphics. Thanks. Uh, Nathan? Nathan? What? Oh, yeah. Okay. You all right? Yeah. How do I look? Like 400 million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? You know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. You remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamned. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm hmm. Let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. I brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the gods see us <laughs> make it for that cross... But they don't see us. Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical? That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. That'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. Except there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? I'm all set. Hey. How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room. Kill the power. You mean on the waiter? You have the best pickpocket. Right. You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Watch that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right. Follow me. I'll cut through the cellar. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you guys have a good one.